batteries. They're not great. Do you remember when you could just buy any Nokia and it would hold battery for at least a week? Yeah, chances are that if some of you unplug your phone in the morning, it's not gonna last till midnight. But it's not only on the older smartphone models. Recently it's been trending on Twitter, or rather X, that some of the iPhone 14 users are reporting that they have to charge their devices more often than usual. The feature which offers the ability to check the health of iPhone's batteries has been available for many years and seems to be a very useful solution. It allows users to have a better view of the state of the batteries in their devices, which comes in handy when the iPhone runs shorter on a single charge. Or if you're buying a used one, this is probably one of the most important things to check because then you could probably bargain a little if the indicator shows, let's say for example, less than 90%. However, this is particularly worrying if we are talking about the latest model, currently available in stores. We're only in August 2023, and the iPhone 14 Pro made its debut on store shelves in September 2022. That means it has been on the market for less than a year, and many users who have owned this model since its release complain that their batteries offer significantly lower capacity compared to when the smartphone was new. Some users also point out that they haven't encountered such a low battery level after just one year with previous models, such as iPhone 13 Pro. So yeah, I didn't buy my iPhone on the Premiere. Actually, I bought it about half a year ago, and from the beginning I've been following certain rules to keep my battery as healthy as possible. This is why, as you can see, my phone sits at 99% capacity. I'm not sure if after the next few months I will be seeing a significant drop here, because maybe it's the issue with hardware, or some features of this phone that I don't have any control over. But I think just being aware of the ways to prolong the lifespan of this battery won't hurt me. Or you. So here are 5 tips to keep your battery in good condition. First, wireless charging is bad. Yeah, I'm sorry if you purchased this MagSafe charger or any other wireless charger, this device is slowly killing your smartphone. It uses electromagnetic induction to provide electricity to portable devices. The problem is, your battery is not 100% efficient in absorbing and storing the power it gets, so all the energy that's lost turns into heat, and hot temperatures are almost as bad for your smartphone as pavement is. This is actually one of the reasons why Apple invented MagSafe. Not only does it prevent your phone from falling to the ground, but by aligning both devices using magnets, it increases the efficiency of wireless charging. But it is still far from perfect, so if you care about your battery's lifespan, choose this over this. Also, Apple says that certain styles of cases can generate excess heat. So if you notice that your device is getting hot, you might want to consider taking it off when you're charging. Number 2. Avoid sun. You get it now, high temperatures kill batteries. On Apple's official website we can read that the comfort zone for your device is somewhere between 0 to 35 degrees. So remember, if you live in a sunny place, avoid leaving your phone in direct sunlight, especially if you're driving and using your smartphone as a satnav and charging at the same time, it can get extremely hot. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you've got a darker color like mine, it's gonna absorb more sunlight. So Avoid sun. Number 3. Keep your smartphone charged. It's important to remember that your battery doesn't like to be overcharged or drained completely. This is why with iOS 13, Apple introduced optimized battery charging. When enabled, and by default it is enabled, you will sometimes see this notification that your device will delay charging past 80% in certain situations. It is designed to reduce the wear on your battery and improve its lifespan by reducing the time your iPhone spends fully charged. Also, bonus tip, with all lithium-ion batteries, you should try to keep them charged between 60 to 80%. This is what they like the most. So if you see it dropping to about 50 or 40% and you can charge it, just do it. Don't wait. Of course, if you can't do it at the moment, it's not a big deal. But it's good to know that it is better to keep your phone charged more than 50%, if you can. And yes, of course, if you're holding any of the more recent Android devices like Samsung or Xiaomi, yes, they also have their own versions of this feature. 
Number four, check your settings. Make sure your device is updated to the latest version of the operating system. That makes sense. In most cases, the updates can contain some sort of battery optimization, making sure that certain applications or functions on your smartphone just perform better and don't consume too much battery. See what's using your battery. If you go to the battery settings on your phone, you can easily see what apps are using the most of it. If you spot one that is acting weird, you can just get rid of it or go to this app's settings and turn off background app refresh or any other settings that are not necessary. Another tip is to make sure that the auto brightness is turned on. In my opinion, the sensors on modern smartphones got really good at setting screen brightness to an optimal intensity. Sometimes I even dim the screen a little more because it's not only harmful for your device, but also for your eyes. Use Wi-Fi whenever possible. It is using much less energy to stay connected to your router's antenna than to your 4G or 5G connection, especially if you live outside of the city or in any other place with worse cell coverage. Your smartphone will be trying even harder to get signal, which is using lots of energy. And five, do not obsess over it. This tip might be counterintuitive, but let me explain. I don't want you to be obsessing over those tips too much. I don't believe that you should be changing your entire lifestyle because of your battery's health. It's your health that is the most important thing here, and it should be you in control over your smartphone than the other way around. If you obsess over it, I think you're just gonna notice it even more, and that's not the point. Remember, if your battery health goes under 80%, you can always get it replaced. It's about $99 right now, so much less than getting a new phone. And if you've got an Apple Care Plus plan, they will replace it for free. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some other videos I've made. And if you like them as well, stay here for longer. Also, let me know if you liked this kind of content. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you liked it as well. See you around. Bye.